Hey everybody, this is Miss Angelique 2012, um, and this is going to be my seven week pregnancy update. I am so happy I was, I'm able to make it to seven weeks. I know I still have a long way to go, but if you um, follow my journey um, previously, you would know that this last, my previous pregnancy, I was only able to make a five week update so um because you know I ended up losing the baby so I just want to um go ahead and say um I'm really really happy that I was able to make it this far and I, I pray and I I'm just keeping faith that I'm, that I'm going to be able to make it further and further until I see a baby so um I am seven weeks pregnant well I'll be seven weeks and it's 904 p.m. right now so I'll be seven weeks and ten loves well in three hours I'm sorry I have to count um so in three hours I'll be officially seven weeks I just want to go ahead and get this video out the way because I am not feeling good I'm not sure if you can tell in my voice or not but I am not feeling good at all and tomorrow whenever I get home from work I'm definitely not going to be wanting to make a video so I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way and I'm going to jump straight to everything that's going on. If you see me looking right here, that's because I am looking on the computer at um, everything that I'm going to speak about today. And by the way, I do apologize for my attire again. Um, I'm after I do this video, I'm just going to lay down, well, lay back down and chill and watch Netflix, okay? <laughs> so um, let's get into the symptoms, try not to... I don't know, talk about too much. I'm sorry, try not to make the video too long, so I may go a little bit fast. Um, symptoms this week, breast pain, they have actually kind of, um, I've not been hurting that much lately. Um, this, earlier this week they were, but they're kind of coming, going down a little bit, um, so which is good. I still have nipple soreness, but as far as breast pain, I don't think I have as much as I had like three for the past three weeks or so. Um, also, I'm really, really tired all the time. Um, and then I work nine hours a day, if not more. So, well, not a day, but I'm, I have two off days, of course, but they're not consecutive off days. So, um, I'm tired all the time. I am eating everything. All I want to do is eat, sleep, and watch TV. Um, I'm peeing a lot, of course. I feel... Like, um, pressure down there sometimes, like, as if the baby is really, really big and sitting in my bladder. I know that's how it usually would feel. Well, it felt that way whenever I was, um, pregnant with my daughter. And I was like, okay, I'm, I feel huge. Like, I have to pee. And I feel all of this pressure down here. But it's, it's crazy. But I am peeing a lot. Nausea, I do have, um, every now and then. It has let up a lot for the past couple of days. I only threw up once, you know, a few days ago. And it was actually at night. Honestly, I don't really get sick until nighttime. And that's, like, you know, you said morning sickness, but I have night sickness. So, I don't really get sick until after nighttime. And a little, sometimes, whenever I wake up, I'll be a little, like, I have, like, a little drainy feeling, but... <clears throat> That's about it, but I don't really have morning sickness. I know morning, oops, my computer light went off. I know morning sickness can, you know, occur any time. I primarily have night sickness, and I threw up once, which is crazy because whenever I was pregnant with my daughter, I absolutely, I never threw up. And I was just laying in the bed, I was like, I was telling my, um, I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, um, I feel nausea is like I, I got him and I had him I had just bought lemons that day so I was like bring me a lemon I think lemons help with nausea didn't work and like a couple minutes like maybe a minute or two after I ate the lemon I just immediately I just got up we have a trash can near our, our bed so I just got up went on the floor um grabbed the trash can put it in front of me and I just started throwing up a couple seconds later so um which is which was crazy because I never had threw up I never threw up with my previous pregnancy, and even whenever I'm not pregnant, I never throw up. So that's why I was like, okay, this is a, I mean, it's bad that I'm, not bad, necessarily bad that I'm throwing up, but I mean, no one likes to throw up, but I was like, okay, I will throw up every day as long as this baby sticks. I am perfectly fine with throwing up. Even though I hate throwing up, I don't mind throwing up every day <laughs> as long as this baby sticks. So yeah, 
I also have any allergies, but now, well, I was having allergies, but now, I'm, I have a cold. Um, whenever I went to the hospital, um, I don't know if I told y'all the story or not, but I'm not going to get into it that much, but I went to the hospital because I was having, like, a bad allergy attack, and that's when I ended up finding out I was pregnant as well. Um, so I had, they also prescribed me some allergy medicine, but now I have a cold because my boyfriend, he... He freaking got me sick, okay, because I was perfectly fine until like up to a couple of days ago. Like I started, I always, I know when I'm about to sick, when I'm about to get sick. I'll get sore throat first, and after I get sore throat, the sore throat will go away, and then my nose will be congested, and then I'll start coughing, and that's exactly what happened. I'm not running a fever. I did call my doctor <coughs> and ask. Um, well, I, was, I didn't actually speak to my doctor, but I spoke to a nurse about two days ago, two or three days ago, and, um, they told me I can take regular Robitussin, and if my fever, if I got a, if I had a fever, um, at 100.5 or more than to go to the hospital. I know typically it's more than, it's maybe like 101 or something, but, um, I guess it's different since I'm pregnant. But, yeah, I have a cold. Um, also... I'm really lazy. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to clean. I, cl I, I cleaned up yesterday, I believe. That was the very, very first time that I actually cleaned up or did a little something since I've been pregnant. So, um, yeah. Uh, mood swings. It's crazy. I have mood swings. I'm crying one day. Then the next, um, catching attitudes. It's just my mood is just all over the place. And also, today I, I started having nosebleeds. Um, I don't know if it was because it was a mixture of the heat, because it was really, really hot at work. Oh my! And I ended up leaving work early. Like, it was so hot, and it was hot outside, which didn't make it no better. Like, I was sweating. Like, my underwear were, were wet. Like, I thought I was peeing on myself. That's how hot and sweaty I was. Um, so I had my nose bleed three times today. And I don't typically get nosebleeds. I used to get nosebleeds when I was a little girl. But I know that I'm pregnant for real, for real. Because I, I get nosebleeds when I'm pregnant, too. Um, and I, I Googled it. And it said, like, whenever you're pregnant, like, you have more blood than normal. I mean, than typic, I mean than, than the typical um, person that's not pregnant. And something like that they were saying. So, they said nosebleed is normal, especially if you have a cold. In my case, I do have a cold. And I feel like shit. Like, I'm just going to let y'all know right now. I feel like shit. And after this video, I'm just going to lay down like I'm hot, I'm cold, I don't want to turn the fan on, I don't want to get sick, I don't, it, but it's really, really stuffy in this room, I guess I'm supposed to just like, sweat it out, I've heard of that before, it's just sweat it out, I guess I'm just going to be really, really hot tonight, and I'm not, I'm not ready for it, but um, craving, that's all for my symptoms, cravings, I, I was craving at one point spicy foods, and I'm still am, I still am craving spicy foods, um, a little bit, but uh, I also was craving seafood at one point in time, like earlier this week, and I, I'm i not <coughs> craving it anymore, I already got it, but I am still craving spicy spicy foods, my boyfriend's like, you're not supposed to eat spicy foods, it's going to make the baby blind, I'm like, no it's not, that's just a myth, I know you're not supposed to eat a lot of spicy foods, but nothing is wrong with eating spicy foods, I mean... I eat spicy foods from my other pregnancy. I don't eat spicy foods every day, but, or all the time, but I don't, he was just like, he's, he's old, old school, so he said that. Um, so that's it for my cravings. I have a, ne my next doctor's appointment is on the 28th, which is not this coming Monday, but the next, the Monday after that, which is in 10 days from today, 10 days from today, and, um, <coughs> my last doctor's appointment was Wednesday. Was um not last Wednesday, but the Wednesday after the last something like that. I freaking forgot. Um, and they did. They took like ten or eleven vials of blood from me. Like, oh my goodness. But um, I called them like yesterday or, or day before yesterday to see my blood results and how everything was. I'm um, looking into my pregnancy profile was good. Everything was looking fine. Just the only thing, um, after whenever I go back to the doctor. They have to draw some more blood to test my test in the anemia or something because I am anemic, so they are going to put me on iron pills anyway, but they're going to test some more, whatever. Um, but that's about it. The only last thing I should I could say that at first I was nervous, but now, like, 
uh, because you know I was nervous because of course I lost the, lost um my the my last pregnancy I miscarried and so I'm just really like I was really nervous at first but now I'm getting more comfortable like I'm um as long as I'm feeling pregnant that's fine you know or even if I don't tep um necessarily feel pregnant as long as I'm not bleeding like that's it or bleeding or cramping I don't care I know I'm okay as long as I'm not bleeding so um. Yeah, and I also got an ultrasound on my last uh, doctor's appointment. I, I, my picture is in the room, so. But, uh, I'm sorry, it's in the car. But, um, that's about it. Wrap this video up. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. Um, I, I'm not sure if you s saw my reintroduction video. And I am going to probably have to do another one because a lot of things have changed. Um, so I will do that eventually. But I don't look like this in all of my videos. I'm just like, I just want to get this over with. Um, but I do miss you guys. And I will be doing more videos other than pregnancy vlogs. Any video requests, anything, let me know. Comment, send me a message, do whatever. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if I miss anything, if y'all think there's other things I should be talking about, let me know. <coughs> And if y'all have any, like, natural remedies as far as getting rid of, rid of cold, I'm really congested, and I'm coughing, and I'm hot. So, just give me some type of suggestions, y'all, because I need any suggestion possible. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Sorry if it was a little bit too long. But um, I will see you guys in my next video for my eight weeks. And eight weeks, yeah. Eight weeks, yeah, I'll be eight weeks. That's crazy. Um, two months pregnant. Wow. Oh my god, I'm almost two months. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. So <laughs> um thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.